Lab 4 Familiarization with your Synthesis Tool The goal of the lab exercise is to synthesize the multiplexer design of Lab 1 and inspect the gate level design which is produced. This lab series are completely tool independent. They can be used with any combination of popular simulation and synthesis tools. Please refer to your vendor documentation for specific instructions for synthesizing your VHDL code. Here we illustrate Cadence's Genus 201 synthesizer. Genus is an extremely powerful and sophisticated tool with many features and options, but the basic steps required to synthesize the HDL are straightforward and easy to follow. It is very painful to execute these commands one by one at the command prompt Hence, we will list all the commands in a tickle file and run the script at the command prompt. Go to the lab directory and view the contents of genus shell script in a text editor. The genus shell tickle script consists of the following list of genus tool commands that are to be executed in order to synthesize the design. First check if the genus tool is installed and the environment variable is set for the same. Set the design variable with design file name which is mux in this case. Select the target technology for synthesis using set underscore db command. Genus provides tutorial library for demonstration purposes. We will use this library for this lab course. You can use any other technology library that you wish to have in your installation. Read the design using read underscore HDL command. Minus VHDL option indicates the design is in VHDL form. The design files are passed in, in the compilation order required by the HDL you are using. Any errors in this step will be displayed in the console. Once read, elaborate the design by providing top level design entity name as the argument. Write the pre-synthesis report onto a file using write underscore HDL command. Check for any unresolved references using check underscore design command. Specify any constraints such as the clock constraints. If you have a clock in your design, then you will want to specify to the synthesis tool how fast you require the clock to be able to run. A purely combinational circuit like a MUX will have no clock so, go on to the next section if your design has no clock. Synthesize the design to generic gates using sin underscore generic command. It takes a top level design and synthesizes RTL blocks to generic gates using the given constraints and performs RTL optimization. Synthesize the design to technology gates and optimize it using the commands sin underscore map and sin underscore opt. These commands map the design to the cells described in the supplied technology library and perform optimization. Write out the post synthesis results onto a file. Genus doesn't use a database, so changes to the netlist and constraints are not written until explicitly stated. You can bring up the GUI by executing GUI underscore show command. The schematic pane in the GUI shows the map gate level netlist of the HDL containing technology specified library cells. Now let us synthesize our design. Go to the lab directory on your terminal. We will be synthesizing the MUX design which is in the file MUX.VHD. Hence the genus shell script contains the design variable as mux. Now let us invoke the synthesis tool by the using the command genus minus f genus underscore shell dot tickle. So this executes a list of commands contained in the script in a given order and opens up the GUI. 
GUI contains menu bar, viewer such as design browser, layout viewer, schematic viewer, HTML viewer and object attributes, layer control, toolbar and status bar. The design browser is categorized based on the object type such as hierarchical cell, modules, terms, nets, standard cells, etc. Click on the plus sign next to different categories and explore the objects. You can view the schematic by right clicking on the object on the schematic and selecting schematic view in main from the drop down menu. You can observe and analyze the generated netlist and see if it matches with the intended hardware. You can also view the schematic by clicking on the plus sign next to the layout tab and selecting schematic from the drop down menu. There are also various generate tabs on the menu bar using which we can generate reports on area, power, timing, etc. For example, we can generate the power report by clicking on the drop down menu under the power tab. The schematic shows 4 bit time underscore data, 4 bit alarm underscore data, and 1 bit show underscore A as inputs and 4 bit display as output. The hardware in between implements the MUX logic. This gives a basic understanding of using Genus Synthesis tool.